Well, in this video, we're off on another road trip. And here's what's coming up. Well, as I mentioned at the start, we're off on another road trip and we're doing a road trip up to the valleys. Yep. We did one of these a few months ago, but instead of just stopping the valleys and coming back down, we're heading up to the Brecon Beacons, beacons yeah. the beautiful and rugged Brecon Beacons. With all the sheep. Yeah, well, lots of sheep up there. <laughs> Don't worry, I will be putting up a a map at the end. Well, Mel, on our road trips, we normally don't show, <laughs> we normally don't show the car we no. drive because we're ashamed of it. Yes. But thanks to the people at Honda UK, they kindly lent us this car for the weekend, the new hybrid, the Honda HRV. HRV. I've never driven a hybrid before. Have you? No. No. Neither. So Honda <clears throat> were looking for the best drivers to experience the new car. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Max and Sergio were busy with the Formula One or something. And Lewis. <laughs> yeah, so they came for the next best. best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Honda has created the new HRV by listening to what real people want. You, me, Marcus. Oh, real people. That's I don't me. know about Marcus, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> and you have a chance today to enter a competition and win one of 50 test drives. From that, one person who completes their real world review will have a chance to win a new HRV. Link below. Before we go, we had the car yesterday. So if you want to see more of the car, have a look at the footage we filmed of Mel getting used to the car, <laughs> especially the startup. It didn't make any noise. No. <laughs> we weren't used to the hybrid engine. <laughs> anyway, here's the footage from yesterday. Well, before we start our road trip, Mel's going to be driving for most of it. So you better get familiar with the, that wrong key. <laughs> I've lost the key, I'll come back to you. Well, take two, I found the key. <laughs> so as you're going to be driving most of the time. Okay. Do you want to get familiar with the Honda? Okay. I'm not used to driving a hybrid or an electric car. <laughs> and you press it and obviously there's no engine noise. So I was turning off and on again for ages. <laughs> Ready to drive. Ready to drive. I didn't read that. Okay. When you had to go, you, you got in and you didn't start it properly. Right. right. We've only had the car a few minutes, but what I love about it is this nifty manoeuvre. Ta-da! You didn't have to run away from it. <laughs> well, apologies to Honda. I've already got mud on the new carpet. So that was the footage from yesterday. So it's time to get started, I think. Okay. Mel's going to be driving for the first time. <laughs> so we're driving up the Ogmore Valley to the Bulch. That's Welsh for pass. And from the top of the Ogmore Valley, we're going to first drop down into the Rhondda Valley. So Don McLean sang about driving a Chevy to the levee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drive my Honda to the Rhondda. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> So anyway, the first part, up to the book, we filmed before in a previous video, so we're not going to show much of that. Instead, we're going to use the trusted system of getting there quickly, which is a montage. <laughs> just because you've never driven one before. Yeah.
Well, so we stopped. We're getting to the top of the Ogmore Valley, and now we're going to go up to the pass known as the Buch, where the mad sheep live. Although driving these roads is really good fun, don't forget to stop and really enjoy the views. Well, Mel, look at this beautiful view. But never mind that. Myself, you mean, not <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> never mind that. Tell me how those magical seats work. Ah, here you go. I will tell you now. So all you have to do with the magic seats is unclip the top, put your hand underneath here, yeah, and you pull the bottom up. And you've got all the space here. So that's where we're heading to next, up that road. To the top of the pass over there. We've made it up to the top of the book. We've left the Ogmo Valley. Sheep. <laughs> and now we're heading down into the Rhonda Valley. And that is Cum Park, then over to Triorki. Then from there, we're gonna head up to the Brecon Beacons. Well, actually, there's two Rhonda Valleys, all known as the Rhonda. The Rhonda Varro and the Rhonda Vach, which basically means the big Rhonda and the small Ronda. So that's the Ronda Varro, and we're gonna head up from there, like I said, up to the Brecon Beacons. The town I just mentioned, Triorki, old mining town, is famous for the Triorki male voice choir, one of the best in the world. Well, Mel, we're gonna head down to Triorki before heading up to the Brecon Beacons. Okay. Do you know what Triorki's famous for? Uh, Triorki male voice choir? That's it, you got it right. <laughs> the male voice choir. I was just saying, uh -huh. do you know who they've sang with? Tom Jones, Tom Jones. Catherine Jenkins, mm -hmm. Andrea Bocelli. Okay. But surprisingly, <laughs> car's going past. Uh, surprisingly, they've also sung with McFly okay. and Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> what do you think? Is that true? <laughs> if it's not, blame Wikipedia. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Look at those roads. It's a really good test for the car. How does it perform on Welsh Valley roads? <laughs> Mel, I've got a surprise for you. What's that? I've booked you on the zip line. Is that a zip line? Yeah. It does look like a zip line. <laughs> <laughs> I know how much you love heights. Oh yeah. I haven't really. Okay, good. We're not far from the Brecon Beacons. I can actually see them from here. And he saw the sat nav, the winding roads. Let's put this car through its paces on the South Wales Valley's roads. Let's go. So there's the reverse camera. You can have different angles. That's useful, looking straight down. Okay, so there's cats in yeah. the car. And that's useful around here because we got a sheep warning. Here, see that? That's telling me there's something approaching from the side of the car. Oh, that was clever. Anyway, it's useful around here, so you don't reverse over a sheep. <laughs> We're in the Brecon Beacons National Park. Not far away is the car park for Penavan, 
and that's going to be busy with hikers because Penavan is the uh, <laughs> the highest peak in South Wales. It's, it's not really South a mountain. Wales. It, so um, it's not really busy, especially on the weekend with hikers and stuff. But we're going to pass there to the Brecon Beacons Visitor Centre, okay. and that's going to be our destination for the day. Um, nice view. Cup of coffee shop. Hopefully, I haven't promised. Was, I haven't promised anything. You promised me cake. Anyway. busy it is here. Mm -hmm. They're all parking on the side of the road because they're going to climb a penavan. Well, climb's the wrong word. Walk up the penavan. One of the gadgets that is useful in the Carnival mm -hmm. are those um, blind spot sensors. Yep. Those little amber lights that come up on the wing mirror where there's somebody in your blind spot. Those are quite useful. Look, Mel, the sun's come out. Yes. Yeah. We've just been in Wales. So we've got to the Brecon Beacons Visitor Centre, which is just past Penavan. Mm -hmm. And before we go and have a, a well-deserved cup of tea, tea, let's have a look at the boot of this car. Anyway, I like this, look. As if by magic. Anyway, excuse the mess. It's got useful bits here to put stuff like umbrellas and stuff. Look. See what I mean? Completely flat. Are you happy now? I am. Yeah. We've made it to the Brecon Beacons Visitor Centre. And it's okay, they've got food. Yep. Some decent food, and Mel's got a cup of tea, so she's happy. Yes, and the toilets, yeah. And we got great views as well. Right then, we're on our way home, uh -huh. and that was our drive, a test drive in the Honda HRV to the Brecon Beacons. More about that later. Anyway, you've got something to say about the competition. Oh yes, so don't forget to enter the competition. Link below. Um, you get a chance to win one of 50 test drives. And then if you do that real world review, uh, you will be in uh, with a chance to win a brand new Honda HRV. HR By the way, the model we've got is, I think it's a HRV, the advanced model. They do three, and this is like the mid-level one, I think. But the spec, I told you, full of farmers, <laughs> the, the spec on it is really good, whatever model you choose. We made some notes, didn't we? We did. Let's have a look. What do we like about it? The gadgets. You like a good gadget. <laughs> <laughs> the car play. We love the car play. Integrate the phone was easy. Uh -huh. uh, auto wipers. But yes. luckily, we didn't have to use them or they didn't come on because, we, look, it stayed dry in yeah, Wales. I know. That's amazing. What other things? <laughs> when I was driving on the motorway last night, it was good. The automatic full beam and space. The main thing with this is you're going to have to faff around. With it's, the magic seats. Yeah. Yeah. You can get, put the seats up or down, whatever, really quickly. And Lots of space, especially if you've got family. I know it was a bit gimmicky. By the way, we are on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a bit gimmicky, but the, the gesture to open, open the, the boots. Boot. Yes. You just I, put your I enjoyed foot playing with that. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's... That was oh, it really. Fuel efficiency. Oh, fuel e miles per gallon, yeah. Miles per gallon. Um, Honda claim this 1.5 hybrid engine can do about 460 miles in a tank of petrol. We've been using it for a day and a half now, and, and basically it's much better than our petrol car, and yeah. that's a 2019 model. Yeah. But definitely. this is the MPG, and that's really important, especially at the moment with the price of petrol and all the mm. hassle we've been getting, getting petrol in the <laughs> yeah, first place. Yeah. <laughs> so, and also, you, yeah. don't, you don't have to plug it in, uh, do you? Yeah, and the good thing, if you want to go electric, but still worried about uh, charging, charging, you stations. can't charge at home, or there's not many charging stations around at the moment, mm -hmm. this is a good compromise. Yeah, and the last thing as well, don't forget to enter the competition. Um, Wait a minute, car. Oh, car. <laughs> <laughs> the link is below. Yeah, by the You're way. You've got to be in it to win it. Yeah. And 
if you want a test drive, come to the Brecon Beacons. Look how beautiful the place is. It's lovely. I'm going to do more for my regular viewers. I'm going to do some more on the Brecon Beacons going into autumn and into winter. I'm going to come up here, not on the weekends, but it's a bit quieter, <laughs> and do some walking on the hills myself. Are you going to be coming? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Yep, sure. <laughs> I'm going to drag you along. No, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, until next time. Goodbye. Bye.